Aw, it's Pat, Kyle Katarn, and Jack Witch all having a drink. Aw. Adorable. And that was my phone. Alright, welcome back to XCOM, guys. Uh, and... Alright, looks like we are doing a resistance op mission. So, uh, joining our team today is, uh, Goldminer117. Welcome to the club. And, uh, you look like Rambo. You're a Rambo-looking motherfucker. Good shit. Alright, so, I haven't actually really equipped anybody with any weapon upgrades really yet. Uh, well, there's your scope. Uh, that's the first one we want. Probably shouldn't have given them the, the super one, but yeah. Uh, this guy can have the, uh... Actually, no, no, I think it, I think it's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, and then missed shots still do one damage. Considering how he has two shots, pretty good. Um, everybody else, I don't really think I care that much. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just reserve the rest of them for now, and we'll see what else we get. Uh, so... I guess we're good with this now. Alright. Kyle's fucking happy, though. Dude, he's like, this is where I want to be. I was almost put into non-existence by Disney. But... He's a happy he's a happy boy these days. He found purpose in, in XCOM too. A VIP of some importance to the resistance was on an operation near the city center when Advent forces attacked and pursued them into the tunnels. Our information is that the VIP is currently hunkered down and we need to go in and lead them to safety. Stay alert and watch for enemy movement down there. The tunnels underneath Vancouver. Alright. Of course. Uh, what the fuck did we land on? VIP is hiding in the tunnels not far from your position. One of their field operatives is also on site to assist you in the rescue. Firebrand is standing by, but be careful. We'll have limited opportunities to set up a viable extraction point down there. Alright, what, what do we actually want to be doing, though, is the question. Um... Uh, there's the VIP. I don't know, this... this because we could go over here and then onto this platform, but no. I, we want the high ground as much as possible. He doesn't seem appear to really find anybody. All right, that's what we'll do. Is we'll we'll kind of go along the train path here. That's what, that's how we're gonna do it. Rolling out. It looks pretty solid actually so far. Running. Zip mode my ass. Oh my god, dude, this angle is impossible. How are you supposed to play the fucking game? Oh my god! Alright. Well, I mean, it's 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 fitting the lore that Jack Witcher would go into the wrong place, but you know. That shit's actually just fucking awful. Remember, no matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. So basically, either nobody comes home or everybody comes home. Oh, that's a mannequin. Solid copy. All right. Well, things look pretty Orders solid there. On the move. Oh my God! The fucking angle here. Can, can I like? Does it have to be isometric? Can I? Can I do something else here? No. So why is that a breaking it open? Oh, that's why. Of human DNA. These creatures once operating under the guise of thin men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. All right, we lost. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Are we on a hostile squad? We have problems right now. All right, we got major fucking problems. All right, here's the question. Do we want to try and stealth around them and rescue the operative? The element of stealth it would Close probably be a good idea. Uh, let's see. What other opportunities do we have? We can go like completely around it and see how and see what happens there. Moving to position. So that's that's how we're going to do it then. I'm all over it. Because uh, Kyle still has the opportunity to move, I think. He does. He will not be seen. Solid copy. 
It wasn't exactly what I'd say that the opportune like ambush location, so we'll uh, we'll just go that this way instead. Yeah, that would have been really bad. They were like underneath us too, almost. Alright. So far, pretty good op. Not gonna lie. I'm hoping that someone with greater movement will be able to go there around there first, but I guess not. No need to ask twice. How's it looking? I guess nobody's there. On the move. Pretty good on our part. A confident approach. Got it. Go, go. It's been going pretty well actually so far. Picking up movement. All right, the stealth continues. Jack Witchell, take the lead. Heading so we don't out. we don't want to bash open the door. Wow, that's interesting. Far. Roger that. Good to go. I'm just kind of surprised how how clear it is. The patrols are just completely over in the other direction. The yeah, they're over there somewhere. Oh, here they are. I mean, we can fight that. I mean, they, I think they're gonna spot me. Okay. So Jack Witchell cannot move. So if he moves, he's spotted. So this is a good opportunity for us to kind of just open up on them too. Uh, all right, so let's see. Mox, where can you go? There's nowhere for you to grapple to. Kyle, can you see anything? Not really. So I'm thinking of just putting half the people into like Overwatch and then grenading them. It's a shame that Mox can't see anything. Okay, well. Let's put Witchell into, uh. Uh. <laughs> do we dare? Let's get it. I dare. <laughs> of course we want to control the enemy. Fuck you, game. not good he says all right well in the pipe five by five or I don't know whatever how that goes thank you we just shoot him too you fucking kidding! You had one job. That was to not fail. Alright, we're gonna go over here. I can always trust my shotgunners. I think something's wrong with your shotgun. Well, we can't really do anything else here. Oh, hey, how you doing? Well... Increases will increase damage from close range attacks and increased uh, damage from Reapers. Well, we do not have Reapers. But we do have Bubblegum Ninja, so we, we have to make sure Bubblegum Ninja is okay. Assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. What? You stasis Jack Witchell? Well, I was kind of hoping we'd just end that in one turn. 
There is no place you can run that I cannot reach. I'm on the move! Well, at least you did the one damage. You suck, Worf. Roger that. Oh, good. You got a scope at least. Got something good here. Oh, what? Okay. Wait. What? You're supposed to pistol things. Heading there now. You kooky bastard. Moving Overwatch. Uh oh. Ah, this is awkward. Wait, how is he triggered? <laughs> Where did he come? Dude, he's like bashing through do two doors like X Cub. Fuck him. Alright, well. Jack Witchell's dazed. I think here. I, I'm just thinking of grenading him, honestly. This might sting a little. I don't think this is a free action. What just happened? Kyle has the free pistol shot, right? No, of course not. He just has the fucking flashbang. All right. Heading to that location. Oh, we do we do get our action. Alright, so a good option would be to knock this person onto the, the bottom floor. Where's Praetor or Mox or whatever? Okay. Uh uh. Can we see him? Uh well you know what? It's one one damage even if we miss, so that's pretty good. Alright, well we got him. The only thing we can see is these angles. It's a real shame. Oops. I don't wanna I don't wanna reload. Alright, we'll just keep this going for now. This is a terrible shot, a uh, terrible angle. I can give him some something to work with, but apparently teamwork doesn't work unless you, when you're disoriented. Is it clear? I guess Jack shouldn't do, be, even be doing anything. I'm thinking of grenading this guy, but. That, on the other hand, is not a terribly great idea. I'm actually thinking of just grenading him out, out of there, honestly. Like, why did that robot fucker, like, go online? It doesn't actually make any sense. Alright. Alright, we're gonna take this shit low cover. Right on top of him. So he takes some damage too. Alright. We can throw another grenade at this guy again. Yeah, fuck it. Spam grenades. I mean, probably could reposition for that too. I like that shot. Well, looks like uh, Kyle's dead. Oh, Mox is dead. Dude, that guy does not have enough HP for that. Oh, he just di he just died. <laughs> Fuck. I'm like, clearly Kyle's the one that's dead, but no. Okay. 
game, dude. Why do they love these abilities? What the hell are you doing? Oh. Apparently, um, this is a blind, so... We just, like, lost most of our squad. Oh, we're Peronis. Like, we actually lost most of the fucking squad. With, with that one turn. That's okay, though. Try to fall today. The elders would have me suffer a fate worse than death. I must retreat for now. We will not be apart, I, I guess we're not allowed to pick that up right now. I'm sure we'll see them again, but that chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. He gets to do it again? They're shifted to this oh my god! And <laughs> All right, I think we gotta. I think we gotta fucking reload this. That was, that was just fucking horrible. Uh. Alright, well, pro tip number one, probably don't cluster all our uh, allies like that. I, I don't think we can really afford to have uh, our entire squad wipe like that, I'm, I'm not going to lie. You're gonna be fine. Alright, uh, let's see here. Maybe what we'll do this time. Because we'll start with a grenade here. Actually, wait, this would be cheating because then I know where she is. Well, whatever. This occurred to me, it's because I didn't move anyone up there to see where she was. Now I know where she is, so, you know. Uh. Well, you know, you aren't watching an Iron Man run, so. Guess it's sort of to be expected that that would be a thing. Alright, I guess we'll uh, try and debate where to go for this guy. The grapple's a free action though, which is nice. Can't really do anything about that guy. I, I, you know, I had Kyle back here before, and I thought to myself it, it was a terrible idea. Combat protocol. Two damage. Ooh, ooh, actually. Oh, wait, never mind, we just killed him. Okay, we can combat protocol him. What's the pistol... 80%. Alright, no matter what, it's a uh, shot in the dark. Alright. I think we're good, actually, because we get to combat protocol them now. Because before I was just moving Jack out of the line of danger, but now we can actually just do this. Okay. Apparently doesn't want to show us the zapping. Chosen commander. I doubt it'll be long before we see that thing again, though. Well, they both died anyways. Bondmate died. Couch turn. Battle is enough to get to anyone. When they get home, we'll have to give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. By the way, I'm not really a safe scummer. I'm not gonna just like load every single time someone dies. Uh, but, like, the squad wiped in that last one, so we kind of had to load in that case. Do we have Shredder on this guy? I don't think he leveled actually at all. Oh my god, these are not the shots that we need right now. Yeah, you think? Because we can't kill him in one turn. 
Jack Witch is going berserk. It's kind of hoping we just kill him, but yeah. Oh, it's another death. He wasn't in cover, though, so that's my own fault, honestly. Alright, gold miner. Rip you, I guess. I could have put it into cover, but I did not. I did no such thing. Alright, I'll go. That is very sad. Oh good. Th thanks, Kyle. Item here. That's a lot of uh shit that we lost for this mission though. Reloading ammunition. I go. I I actually yeah, he, his cover actually got removed. Because I was just thinking to myself, I'm like Wait a sec, didn't I? I thought I put him into cover when I originally put him there. I just didn't notice it got removed. Looks like they called in some friends. Um. The VIP is on route. To VIP the identity confirmed. Firebrand is setting up for evac. We've got multiple contacts closing on Hold your position. Hold position, right? Okay. Ambush. Hold your ground. That's uh, not something I want to see today, but you know. I'm trying to think now where I should defend from. Probably just go back here. Cuz they they're coming from two angles. Like it's the, we don't we don't have much of a choice here. It is under my watch. Got it covered. What's a good angle for him? Maybe over here. Perfect. They're going to come behind us though. I'm on it. Uh I think Witch actually had a medkit actually. We should actually use that action. Wait, this didn't actually do anything. Oh wait, it did do something. These missions can get very difficult though. We can now uh, gremlin that guy. What on earth is it expecting me to do now? Uh, Alright. Does combat protocol end our turn? Yes, it does, so we have to move away. Is it clear? But I can't, cr I can't combat protocol anybody because we don't see anybody. Uh... This could be a problem, actually. Alright. That's kind of bullshit, that move, but, you know, we'll, we'll do it. Alright, we're gonna reposition ourselves somewhere a little bit... Um, safer. I advance. Getting it done. On Overwatch! Now, I'm not sure how they expect us to extract. I'm gonna guess from the beginning, but yeah. This could be a problem, actually. Is there a hole in the wall? I guess there is. What? What? Ang oh yeah, there's a little hole there. That's that's what they saw. All right, where's the combat protocol? They're probably on that guy. I mean, actually, Mox could have killed that. Now I think about it. Okay, let's see, Jack Justice. Oh, cool. The choice is made. <laughs> Overwatch removed, you think? No more. Non evade detection. Moving to Overwatch. All right, well. Oh, we don't know where to go, so we have to kind of hold up around here. And hopefully, things will be okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a fan fabulous shot. Firebrand is 
in position for the extraction. Get Wait, out of right here? Things get any worse. Yeah, I don't think things could be much worse. All right, should we have the civvy uh, draw the fire? Really? Why is, could he? It did fucking say it was gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Jack Witchell was killed, dude. It did not fucking say that. I, I'm actually loaded that fucking shit right now. All right. You, okay. Do you notice how the UI always tells you when you're gonna trigger Overwatch fire? And that one did not say it was gonna trigger Overwatch fire. And then he just fucking guns down Jack Witchell because I would have sensed it with lower health with the fucking front. I'll I'll show you what I mean. Look at this. So you see this you see this like little eye thing? It's like, oh you're gonna trigger overwatch fire, you're gonna trigger overwatch fire. One square away, it doesn't say, look, I could do all this. It's according to this, none of this triggers overwatch fire. If I go over here, it's overwatch fire. If it's here, see this is not overwatch fire. Alright? Alright you guys, this is not some safe scumming bullshit that I'm doing. This is fucking the game's a piece of shit, alright? Can we sword and then go back? No, we can't. All right. So, because this is what I would have done if I had known that was going to be what it was going to do. I would move her over here. And then we go back. Because then Jack's lit alive. Because she would have basically survived any, like, number of hits. So, so you guys can all fuck yourselves if you think I'm safe skating because I'm not. All right. Nah, actually, it's, it's fine. There was a bit of safe coming in the Firebrand has the VIP. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. I mean, like I said, this is there. why we're playing in not Iron Man, just so like we don't wipe the squad and back to their masters LP is over. To show for their effort. If they decide to face us again, we'll be ready. I don't mind doing Iron Man, but I'd want to do that like on stream or something, you know? Take mission photo. Uh, the three survivors. Yeah, this, is a, this, this is a good photo, right here, right there. With a mug like that, you might get Advent to surrender after all. So that one was hard. Advent would <laughs> like to assure all citizens that despite recent attacks and loss of life attributed to radical fringe elements, our peacekeeping forces continue to put your safety and security before all other priorities. Man, because like the fucking the chosen fucker came over too. Despite our victory over them today, we still have much to learn. If Poor we old Kyle. To destroy them permanently. He became non-canon again. All right, and <laughs> well, the one mission you were on. Uh, sorry about that, uh, my friend. Gold Miner One One Seven died in the first mission you were part of. All right, Mox is up. Uh, when fired upon, gain one extra action on the next turn. Triggers once per mission. Uh, you get a uti extra utility slot, provided that the the soldier's armor does not already provide one. Or throwing a grenade or using an item no longer ends the turn. Those are some tough ones, but I would say when fired upon, maybe the extra action point. Uh, that's what I would do. We got the scope again. Well, that was a we lost sort of situation. But we want to really get this power quail fucking finished because we need power because the training center was apparently a useless piece of shit so go figure I could have had the proving ground by now all right so we're gonna do the uh, supply Avenger drop now kind of need the supply drop you actually have a shit ton of money I take it this was easier than your last procedure doctor central commander Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. 
by autopsy of the advent captain has confirmed the existence of an implant similar in design to the unit I extracted from the commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this advent captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. All right, well, we need to construct a proving like ground. we got our work cut out for us, Commander. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Oh boy, we need to do that. Could be reused I will definitely. Send word as soon as we have something of note. Advent has made steady progress. The aliens have just finished a new facility tied to the Avatar project. If we can make contact with resistance forces in the region, we could move on that facility and set back the aliens' work. Once I've regrouped, we will be seeing each other again. Alrighty. Well, that was a good, um... That was a good haul. Alright, so supply raid. Or supplies. Actually, you should find Avenger, the, the black market. It's actually a good idea. Uh, power coil, shield. Okay, good. Maximum we need this. Power consumption reached. Power relay construction initiated. Okay, so we have that one. That one's pretty important. Uh, we can probably get someone to break open this de debris as well now. Yeah, that, that's actually, this is all very solid. And then immediately when this is done, we can just build two facilities right off the bat. Proving ground and the other one. Probably the one where uh, we gain more contacts and this need to start going everywhere. Been an important breakthrough. Probably could also start using plated armor. Goss weapons isn't as important. I, will make that I want the armor. Priority. I think armor before we go on to the mission is at least uh, a requirement. Those who have given their lives today have done so in defiance of the elders. They will find no mercy in the gods' embrace. Uh, we do have a covert These mission going. These are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and are spreading terror throughout the Resistance as they go. We'll need to pay close attention to each one as they gain more information about our plans. Commander, with the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. Yeah, I'm gonna get the engineer. Engineers are just way too good. Alright. 
Uh, well, I guess that will be for next time, so uh, remember guys, we'll be watching. <laughs>